Hey everybody, so I want to do a quick video to show you how to disable some of the switches on this machine. Um, a lot of the, the new machines are coming out with two different switches. One, a door open alarm, and then two is just a machine protect alarm and you'll get an error on your controller when you're trying to fire the machine and you have your lid open like this. So let's take a look. So getting up close to the machine, we can see here in the doorway, there are two of these sensors. So both of these sensors, they detect metal. And so basically they're looking for the lid to close down and then the metal to be close enough to the sensor that it'll actually shut off the, the sensor and shut off this one actually controls the loud alarm. That's super annoying. And then this one actually is integrated into the controller and uh, controls the machine protect. And that one you can actually just turn off. So let's take a look at them a little bit closer. Okay, so I wanna start off by turning on the machine and just showing you what I'm talking about. So the first switch that we are going to focus on, or the sensor or whatever you wanna call it, is gonna be this one over here that controls the door alarm. So if I turn on my machine, it just sits there and it screams at me nonstop until I shut my door. And see, even then, probably because I already took it out and haven't adjusted it, this thing just keeps screaming at me. But it detects metal. Here is a magnet. I put it right over the top of that. It turns off this sensor. So option one, put a magnet over the top of it. There you go. Option two, we're going to go ahead and pull this off. I'm going to shut this machine up. And we're going to go ahead and look at how this is actually put in here. So there is just a, a nut that's on here and another nut on the other side. So if we loosen this up, and this is how I have my machine set up all the time. So then we'll go ahead, we'll just put all these pieces back together in case I ever want to put it back together. So that's all about together. And then back in here, I hit a little magnet and I'm just going to go ahead and throw that guy on there. So it's just touching up against that metal. So now, if I turn on the machine, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful silence. Isn't that great? So that's the one that screams at you, and that is how I bypass it. Okay, so now we are going to look at the second sensor. This is the one that actually does a machine protect on the controller. So it won't let you fire with the lid open. So if we come over here and we go ahead and hit my pulse button, it shoots me an error and it says, machine protect, please escape. So it's not going to let me fire this laser. So I'll show you over at the controller, or actually on my computer in Lightburn, how to turn it off. Okay, so if you come over to Lightburn, and we jump into edit, you can come down to machine settings. Every time I jump in here and I show people this, I like to remind you that this is a very sensitive area and you should save a copy of your machine settings every time that you are changing something. So that way if something does go wrong, you have settings to go back to. If you screw something up in here, you could screw up a lot of things and make your machine just not work the way that it's supposed to. Um, so from here, you actually want to go down and you're just gonna go scroll all the way down and you wanna find vendor settings. Pop vendor settings open. And then you're gonna come down and this 
Enable door open protect. Let's turn it off. False. We're gonna write and okay. All right, so now we're back over at the controller and if I hit pulse, look at that, no errors. So now you can actually run the machine, lid open everything and, and not have any errors or not have the machine screaming at you the whole time. So keep in mind, this is a video that's gonna go into disabling safety features. It is not recommended, but if you do this, you are doing it at your own risk. I take no responsibility in you making these changes to your machine and it causing any kind of harm or problem. This is something that is against safety recommendations. So do it at your own risk. Okay, and that sums it up. That's how you get past both of those sensors. Uh, like I said, not all of the machines have both of them. I believe that some of them just have the uh, machine protect sensor and they don't have the one that's screaming at you the whole time. But both of them can be bypassed. Uh, the one just with a quick little adjustment. The other one's actually done through the machine settings in the controller. Um, so I hope that this video was helpful and be safe.